Many people thought that being royalty was fun. Being able to go to nice dinners and events, wearing lots of nice clothes, living in a castle and being able to meet so many different interesting people. Many people think that being royalty is mostly about luxury and talent, but then you have to think again. Being royalty definitely has its advantages, but it also means that you have to give up a lot of things that we regular people don't have to consider. For example, both Prince Daniel and Princess Sophia experienced this when they both fell in love with the royal family. There are a few rules to follow as a royal. For example, they are not allowed to run their own companies, which is why Princess Madeline's husband Chris O'Neill does not have a royal title. He just didn't want to give up being self-employed. They are also not allowed to have family names, but are addressed by their royal title and name. The Swedish royal family belongs to the Bernadotte family, but when you talk about them you rarely use that name. This means that Sophia also had to give up the name Helkvist that she used to be called by. Yes, there's a whole list of rules, which also means it can be hard for a new member of the royal family to keep track of everything. Victoria, Charles Philip and Madeline were raised with these rules from childhood, but Daniel or Sophia were not. But they had to learn later. Then sometimes there could be a little misunderstanding. Sophia's Mistake A few years ago, Sophia posted a picture of herself in a beautiful dress that she would wear to a royal dinner at the royal palace. Nothing strange, as you think, but here she made a small mistake and broke a royal rule. On such occasions, the king and queen should be shown first, which Sophia certainly didn't think of. I in fact, Princess Sophia is breaking the royal code a bit. At lavish castle dinners like this one, the royal couple should show themselves first, both when they enter through the castle gates and when it comes to photography, says longtime Svensk Damdening reporter Ellen Murgard. Maybe the king and queen are a little pissed off? But we think they realize that it won't be easy for either Sophia or Daniel to follow all the rules, and would probably be happy to help them along the way.